Alright. Uh, okay, the violence. The violence, I thought, was slightly... Uh, okay, I... It, it, it's kind of tame compared to the original. I'll say it wasn't... It, it was gory, but it wasn't as effective as the original. The original wasn't even that gory. It's just the way they filmed it made it seem just more intense and more uh, brutal. Uh, the violence didn't feel as brutal this time, except maybe towards the end where they killed uh, Francis. Um, but... I feel like they kind of, it's like except for the rape scene, they kind of like uh, skipped on the torture and humiliation and went more towards the Hollywood style, just, I, I, I don't know, the, vi the violence was, it, it was intense, but it, it wasn't, it just wasn't as brutal as the original. But there were some gory moments, like, um, you know, uh, what's his name, Francis' death, where he gets, like, he, well, first, you know, the, he gets his nose ripped back off after it's stitched up, and then he gets his, he gets his head shoved in a sink, you know, they're trying to drown him, but he, you know, lets the water down, but then his hands in the garbage disposal, so they grind that up, somebody turns it on, and then it gets a hammer to the head, it's like a really gory death, and then, you know, Sadie, she gets shot uh, through the eye, and then uh, Krug's death, which I thought was kind of silly for this type of movie, he gets his head in a microwave, and it's blown up, and I personally prefer the chainsaw fight in the original. Um, let me see. Uh, Junior, aka Justin, doesn't die in the remake. He um, he has a little confrontation with Crew, like he does uh, in the original. But I, I don't know. It's like in this in the in the remake. He while they're all sleeping, he you know he wants to he steals Crew's gun. He, you know I guess he's contemplating kind of shooting him, but then he's sitting there uh, just. He, he hasn't done it yet when the parents find him after they kill Francis and he gives the gun to one of them and then eventually you know the fights break out um, and then uh, later on Justin ends up with the gun again but it's not loaded so then Krug start you know he, he he comes back at him. I think he stabs him a couple times with something like in his side, and then you know he kind of he fucks him up pretty bad, but you know he he survives at the end. And uh, I guess I, I don't know Krug's death. Well, I'll say the ending leading up to his death. It was um, it was a longer sequence than in the original, and it was. Um, I guess more suspenseful. I thought, and I thought the remake was more um, scary and suspenseful than just disturbing, like the original. The original wasn't really scary. I mean, because it wasn't really a horror movie; it was an exploitation, rape, revenge movie. But this is more like a suspense thriller, um, and a lot of the a lot of the scenes in the original that seemed kind of choppy and just kind of sort of didn't quite make sense they were fleshed out a lot better in the remake um, and by the way the bumbling cops in the original are gone in this remake uh, so there's no uh, humorous you know comic interludes between all the serious stuff it, it's all it all flows a lot better and I think the original like for the time it might have worked that way because they wanted you to I guess they wanted to lighten the mood a bit between you know the disturbing scenes just to kind of give people a break a little bit because back then it was harder to handle than it is nowadays but nowadays that wouldn't work at all I mean it, it just wouldn't fit with the situation you know nowadays you kind of need that just straight through intensity um, so this one did that well. Um, and again, you know, aside 
you know, like the, the ending in the original, I prefer the chainsaw fight. This one seemed kind of tacked on at the end, just for shock value. Um, they cut. I mean, they. It looks like you know they they knock Krug out or kind of sort of kill him, but then they get Mary and Justin out out of the out, out, of, the, out of the area you know, on their boat to to a hospital, I think, and then. I, I think uh, Dr. Collinwood comes back and you know while Krug's still there and then paralyzes him and sticks his head in the microwave and bloop like that and then it ends like that and that just seemed kind of like a tacked on last scare kind of shock ending it, it was kind of cheap for this type of movie but then again it's like your Hollywood eyes polished version of Last House on the Left. Last House on the Left was a gritty, raw documentary style um, exploitation, <clears throat> low budget movie. This is a the high budget Hollywood professionally made, professionally acted version. So I, I don't think any anything will live up to the original. Um, except it, I think Irreversible kind of equals Last House on the Left. It's like the same type of film except Irreversible is more for today's audience. But it, I, I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but uh, it, it's a similar style as Last House on the Left, except now's, now, the today's Times version, whatever. You, but, um, yeah, if, if, if you prefer a Hollywood modern kind of version of the movie. I mean, this one definitely um, is one of the better remakes out there. Um, probably on par with uh, Hills Have Eyes remake. I like that one. Um, overall,